I'm your friendly neighborhood host, Alex, and these are the most annoying, obnoxious, rage-inducing, table-flip-worthy cards in Commander. I absolutely hate insane mana ramp in the early game, and I'm not talking peewee league like Rampant Growth and Cultivate. Oh no. I'm talking about the big boys, the mana crypts, the moxes, the lion's eye diamonds of the world. And there's always that one guy who plays out every single artifact in the multiverse on turn number one and has access to 45 mana as soon as the game starts. Why you have to go off and play giant spells before I've even had the chance to play one land and make me feel broke at the same time? Not cool, bro. Not cool. While you're busy chaining into a turn one windfall, I'm over here playing a hardcore basic land, or even better, a land that enters the battlefield tapped. But hey, I gain a life. And now that I've had my soul ripped from my body, there's only one thing left to do. Pass turn. Oh, and say hi to my sociopathic friend, Grand Arbiter Augustine IV. He's here to show you some really amazing, super friendly stacks cards. Are you tired of having friends? Do you hate yourself and everyone else around you? Then Stasis might be right for you. Talk to your doctor about stacks cards, because it's never too late to burn your playgroup to the ground. And who could forget about classic cards like Gaddock Teague, Grand Arbiter, and of course, Aethersworn Canonist. I absolutely love just staring at all the cards in my hand and knowing I have a snowball's chance in hell of ever being able to cast them. Let it be known throughout the realm that thou shalt haveth no fun, for I am the stack span, and only I get to play magic. All of your permanents shall enter the battlefield tapped, and you will only cast spells when I give you my express written consent to do so. And if you fuss or complain, I will turn all of your lands into useless mountains or swamps. Why? Because I can. I am the Stacks Man. Ah, the simple joy of watching an opponent take extra turn after extra turn. Who doesn't love watching a Narset or a Kess deck do nothing but waste your time? Sometimes I really do think Satan himself designed the card Expropriate. The best case scenario for this card is that your opponent steals your coolest permanent on the battlefield. Worst case, they take three or four extra turns. And of course, inevitably, somewhere along the way during their four extra turns, they're going to find an additional extra turn spell and just keep the fun rolling. If you're going to take a million extra turns, the least you can do is win. If all you're going to do is waste time and not accomplish anything, you are not a very nice person. This is why I never leave home without an Ugin's Nexus or a Stranglehold. Just like the Boy Scouts, you always have to be prepared. Of course, I couldn't have a list of annoying commander cards without featuring Mystic Remora and Ristic Study. Watching an opponent draw 75 cards is very irritating, but the most irritating thing isn't the card draw, it's the reminder of the triggers. Uh, can I, can I, can I cast a soul ring? Ahem, <clears throat> will you pay for Mystic Remora or Ristic Study, sir, or shall I draw two delicious cards? All right, bro, I'm gonna tap for three and attempt to cast a Kodama's Reach. Oh, -ho, how delightful. Will you pay for the Magical Fish and the Ristical Study, or shall I draw two more delectable cards? All right, there's only one way to handle this fedora, bro. I'm gonna tap for four and cast Notion Thief. That's right, get wrecked, noob. Your fish and your Ristic Study belong to me now. Thanks for tuning in. If you're down with what I'm doing, smash that like button. And go ahead and let me know in the comments below what cards irritate you the most. And if you're new around here, welcome to the Deck Builder Society, and don't forget to subscribe. And you know what's up. Stay classy, Deck Builders. I'll see you next time.